I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it out the stove. Hey, what is up? What is good? Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Remember, if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. I'm posting videos every Monday and Thursday. You don't wanna miss out. Um, but as you saw, I just mixed a pre-workout. You already know what it is. Beam supplement, it's a sour blue gummy today. If you hit that first link in my description, uh, it's my support code, use code RYAN10 at checkout. It saves you some money, supports your boy, and always appreciate it. But today, we are talking to girls in the gym. Um, the woman that I have coming on, she's an amazing soul. I met her while, when I, I think a year and a half into her when I moved, in, moved to Florida. Um, it's weird how we met, we'll get into that in the video, but Tatiana, amazing soul, podcast, uh, empowering coach, and just an all around amazing person. Can't wait for y'all to get to meet her. And if you guys already know her, you already know what it is. So we're gonna finish this free. Then we're gonna get into the workout. She should be here in the next five, 10 minutes. So be ready for it in three, two, one. Uh, let's actually, go. also the second link in the description is going to be my support link with Balance Athletica. Um, right, what they have coming on right now is a big vibes. I remember, so if you hit that link in my description, the second link for my balance link, it's, it, uh, it supports me within balance in the company, and it just, it's always appreciated, you know, like the love that you guys have for me means the world to me, so stay tuned. Here we go. All right, so we are here, we got the guests, we got Tatiana in the house. Hello. All right, so you already know what it is, like I said, I gave her a little brief introduction about you, but let's give us a little bit more before we get into the nitty gritty. Hi guys, my name is Tatiana Cujo. I am originally from Boston, Massachusetts, but I live here in beautiful South Florida. And I am an online life and health coach, primarily helping women feel good in their bodies and master their mindset so they can live a happy and fulfilled life. Awesome. And so, well, how is it that you got into being a life coach? Well, I actually started as a health and weight loss coach, so I went through my own health journey and I fell in love with health and fitness so I became a personal trainer and then from there I moved to Florida started my own online health and weight loss coaching business and then I realized how much mindset plays a role when it comes to your health yes you can be doing the workouts yes you can be having your nutrition on point but if you don't feel worthy if you don't believe that you can have the result or if you have past baggage anything that can halt your success and results from happening so I fell in love with the mindset aspect of it and I just dove dive dove deep into um, the mindset and life coaching. Awesome, love hearing that. So you already know, I'm a big, big advocate for good, advocate? <laughs> advocate for good mindset. So we're gonna get warmed up. We're doing back and buys today. Enjoy, remember, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. Let's get into it. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Write my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back home. Cause I know my people needed me Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me Go down as a legend in my city Cause we beat the streets Trying to spread the wealth around the block No, I can't keep from me Told me I should leave I see the bigger picture and it's way bigger than me Can't be living like a king But my people need to eat If I got it, then you got it We gon' get back on our feet And I put it on me I don't wanna live life fast Or die too young Or die too young Hundred miles for all my crash Cause good die young yeah, but here I come Push it to the limit, I can't go no more Red light, no way I'm coming back home Long dirt road all on my own I'ma be the greatest, run my name in the stone Run my name in the stone Alright, so first set done Lap pull downs, bent over rows But first question What is it that got you into coaching? And then what is a I know we talked about like we don't like the term life coach so what do you call it and then just go from there? Yeah, I, I say I guess I can go with empowerment coach or mind, body, spirit coach and just taking your life in a holistic view because I don't believe you can have a healthy mind without a healthy body. So, But I primarily focus a lot on more mindset and releasing things that don't serve you and working with the subconscious mind. But what got me into coaching, so I went and got a degree and was working in corporate America as an industrial engineer and I absolutely hated it my life I was not passionate about it and I was overweight at the time I struggled with my weight and body image and negative mindset my entire life and so as I was going through my own weight loss journey I found the passion for that injured industry and I was like I want to help provide this transformation for others and so that's what first got me into personal training which then I quit both of those jobs and then started my own coaching business and 
then I just fell in love with the subconscious mind and just bringing everything together, the mind, body, and spirit. So I love that. So how you change your mindset, you transition from something that you hated to something that you were passionate about. And that's always a tough thing to do. So what is it that, how were you able to make that switch? Was it easy? Was it gradual? Was it scary? It was scary. It was scary for sure. Um, I listened, I worked on my mindset a lot, my personal development. I was listening to a lot of podcasts, a lot of motivational speakers. And I guess one day I just had enough of living the life and complaining and being depressed about it all. And I just said, what? what's the worst case scenario? My worst case was living my current situation. So what did I have to lose? So I just took the leap of faith and put my life in God's hands and just been like, take the wheel. And it's been the most amazing journey going on it. That's phenomenal. The fact that you, you realize that you, what's your worst case scenario and you realize that you were living it and not many people can like, say, yeah. can accept that. Like, all right, shit, I'm in it right now. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the biceps. A little bit of gunshot. I'm still keeping the tarp on. The pump's coming on. The shirt's coming off soon. But we're going right into it. Push it to the limit. I can't go no more. Red light, no way. I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'm going to be the greatest. Run my name in the stone. Run my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Run my name in the stone. Because I'm coming back home. The pump is there, but uh, the next question I want to go to is, uh, what do you think is one of the some of the things that really stop people from trying to pursue what they want to pursue? I would say the biggest one is fear, fear of judgment, fear of failure, and failure doesn't exist; it's just feedback, and not having the belief in yourself, and taking the time to discover like what is it that you want because it. You know what you want, you just gotta go full for it and you gotta overcome that fear. Outside, over that fear, over that uncomfortable feeling, that's where growth happens. And I just allow, I think people allow the fear and the thoughts and the what ifs get to their head and they just stay paralyzed. So, what is it that, how were you able, how were you to overcome your fear of just like saying, F my corporate job, I'm doing what I wanna do? Yeah, I guess I had to just sit with myself and be like, well, what's the worst case scenario? Like, well, think about it. Everyone thinks like, oh my God, what if I fail? What if something goes wrong? Great, acknowledge that worst case. And then look at it like, what if it goes amazing, right? And if you can imagine the worst case, you can imagine the best case. And for me, like, you, like I said, like I was living my worst case scenario and I believe we were not put on this earth to be slaves to our jobs, to be depressed and miserable like I was. So I kind of just said, the responsibility is mine. We always have the choice to do something. And I just said, I don't know if I can swear on here. Again, like, swear away. <laughs> I was just like, fuck the fear, I'm gonna do it. And whatever happens, happens. I think that's fantastic, because I always ask, like, my biggest what if is, I like to look back and say, what if I didn't take that chance to move to Florida? Yeah. Like, I don't, I can't imagine what I would be doing if I'm if I wasn't here right now like that's my favorite what if to ask like like you said everyone can ask those what if I fail what if I fail what if I don't but when, once you get to that mile so I'm like oh shit I'm here what if I didn't take that first step yeah ask yourself like what if I don't do this right like we have one life to live and if you're not living it always facing your fears you're just coasting and the difference between the most successful people in the world they still have fears and they still have doubts but they push through anyways. And that's what I think, just like learning to have that belief in yourself and just being like, okay, I'm gonna go, even if it terrifies the shit out of you. I love that. So, as far as pushing yourself, we're here working out. We're still pushing ourselves. Next one. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest, run my name in the stone. Run my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Run my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back home. Cause I'm coming back home. Alright. Slowly, getting more and more out of breath. Weight's getting heavier, but we're doing it. Um, but what's a, what's a tip that you would give to help people take that first step out of that comfort zone? Because I know that's one of the first things that people are afraid of, that first step. Yeah, so there's a few things that I would say. So the first one is, if I would have you close your eyes and imagine what it is that you do want to happen. Because if you can imagine it in your mind, it can become your reality. Your subconscious mind is the difference between reality and what you tell it. 
So if you can imagine it, it can be yours. And then creating some affirmations and beliefs for yourself to, you know, pump yourself up. Who do you want to become? Like I am statement. And start telling yourself that. And just do little stiff, little steps or habit changes every single day. Because the small things add up to the big things. Don't put the pressure and overwhelm yourself to have to do something huge. Just take that one little step. Maybe that is you just walking into the gym. Maybe that is you asking for a salary raise. Whatever it is, just take that one little step and know that it will eventually add up on top of each other and then your whole reality will shift. That's awesome. So how would you, like, so like you really hit that point where you don't want to focus on that big, that big gigantic leap. Yeah. How do you stop people from saying like, I need that leap and not really appreciate the small ones? Ooh, well gratitude is the best state that you can be in. So appreciate that like when you started walking or learning how to ride a bike, like you, you weren't able to just do it right away. You have to learn. And if you can shift your mindset to always have a learner, beginner's mindset, and just remind yourself, it's literally one step at a time. What's the race? What's the pressure? What's the rush, right? You can still have that big vision in your mind, but in order to have that big vision, you gotta take the small steps. Tony Robbins didn't become Tony Robbins when he did. LeBron James didn't become LeBron James overnight, right? They took small steps every single day to become the best people that they are. So it's just reminding yourself, always have that vision in your forefront of your mind. Ask yourself why. What is the reason why you want that? why you're getting up and doing what you have to do every single day and just reminding yourself if you did the best you can every day you're gonna get there no matter what she is hitting the straight damn facts <laughs> all right back to that workout so hard to stay composed fight to see the light of day all this blood on my clothes i was tired every day green light it's time to go i don't want to live life fast or die too young die too young 100 miles per hour might crash because a good die young get a good die young Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt. I'm saying, man, that pump is getting a little real. Um, but what is one thing that, what, what is it that keeps helping you motivate people? Because I know, like, from a, from a coach's aspect, as a trainer, it's very tough to motivate people to keep going because every once in a while they are going to fall short of that milestone goal. Well, how do you keep them going after that failure? Yeah. I love to teach that. So when I meet people, I see, I guess I guess I have a gift of I seeing their true potential and I think that's me seeing my own true potential and there's so many people who live unhappy, unfulfilled lives not knowing who they are and I just, I believe everyone deserves to live a happy, fulfilled life in their purpose and I feel like that allows me to continue coaching people and when people are feeling unmotivated, I try to shine the light on how amazing they already are, how far they've already come, and remind them of their vision, remind them of their goals and their why to help them move the, you know, the momentum going. We're all human, we're all gonna have low points and we're not always gonna feel motivated, but when we can remember like our potential, who we can become, it gives people that like oomph to keep going even during the hard times. And so what do you, how does it feel? Cause I, I love it when I have a client hit me up and gives me that like, Brian, look at this transformation. What's, how do you feel when your your clients have that breakthrough moment? Oh, it's like fucking like the best feeling in the world. I'll like tear up or I get goosebumps. I'm like, because I, I see it in them the day I met them. I see it, but I see all of the past pains, the scars, the limiting beliefs that are holding them back from that true potential. So when I see them stepping into their true power, it's like, oh my goodness, this is the best job in the world. Love that. <laughs> Gonna finish off this workout with abs. She's been saying she's gonna work on the core, so we're gonna finish it off with abs right now. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch them take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. All right, and that is the end of the workout. Tatiana, thank you so much. If, Thank you. Uh, if people are trying to find you, where can they find you at? Yeah, you guys can follow me at Tatiana underscore Pujo on Instagram. Same name for YouTube. And if you want to learn more about your mindset and becoming the best version of yourself, you can go and listen to the Radiant Life podcast on Spotify and iTunes. There you have it. I'll have both those links in the description for her Instagram and for her podcast. Other than that, if y'all made it this far, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'm posting videos every Monday and Thursday and you don't want to miss it. Other than that, hope you have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. Peace.
too fast to die too young. To die too young. 100 miles per hour might crash. Cause